Wake up with Davina and Fareed on Capital in the Morning Show. Your first time, and I'm just going to say my first time, and then I'm going to give you the descriptor. You have to just give it to me straight, okay? Okay. That's what she said. Try my All best. Right. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> they never it's do too that. early, too okay. early. Okay. <clears throat> my first time in this building. Oh, to, uh, to 2003. How are you feeling? <laughs> Um, how was I feeling? I was so happy because I was going for it. So I was really excited to be in there. At 19, yeah. man. I was calling every day. I was calling every day from Mombasa saying, you know, when when will you have an opening? When will you? And then I was patched through because the receptionist at the time was like, God. And then I got, hello, John. It was Phil. <laughs> like, right, right. I know you've been calling every day. We're going to call you if we but get an you know, opening. But thank you for calling Are you day. a coast chick? <laughs> I'm a coast chick. Yes. Wow. Yes. But having said that, just going back to <laughs> Phil Matthews, he, and he said this when we spoke to him last, was it last week during mm-hmm. our birthday month? Mm-hmm. He said that he had such an eye for talent. Mm-hmm. And I think it took him speaking to you once right. for him to say, yeah. come and Lettering. see us, right? Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Because I called every day. Then eventually after a few weeks, he, I get a call and it's like, it's Phil. Can you come in tomorrow? Yeah. So that was amazing. So I came in feeling very happy. <laughs> okay, ready? My first time feeling uncomfortable because of my gender. Wow, because of my gender. Um, 2015, I mean... Yeah, I think I was I was body shamed for being pregnant on TV. No really? Way. Yeah, I was. And I talk about it a lot <laughs> because, you know, it's it's a very current real situ, you know, um narrative right now. Does that actually is that actually a thing? Body shaming someone for being pregnant? Yeah, I was they would send questions to the station saying, you, you know, you're too pregnant. I don't till today I don't know what too pregnant is, but you're too pregnant to be on TV or why are you pregnant and reading us the news? <laughs> I promise yeah, you. Yeah, cuz those two things don't go hand in hand. They really I mean? no, don't. No, yeah. So I I struggled with it initially, but then I became a bit of a dragon lady. For the first time, I pushed back because I was like, you're insulting womanhood, not and just me. creating life, And creating guys. life. And so it became a big ish story. I remember it was on uh, magazines and, and TV. It was strange. But yes, that was one of the first times that, you know, you really recognize your gender and you really recognize how you're being targeted because of your gender. So... See, no, no one, no one tells Jeff Koinangi that he's put on That's too much what weight. I'm sa- <laughs> you know what I mean? And I mean, let's be honest, he's not, he's not a young man anymore. Right. It so. is. It's, it's, it's appearance goes hand in it's, hand with yeah. being a woman. He's going to kill woman. me for that. I'm, not, I'm like Fareed. <laughs> He's gonna call so you could say that when you're thin, you know what I mean? So. <laughs> <laughs> the, it, this one is always ready for violence. <laughs> violence. Fareed Varun. No Kalani. violence. My no. first time to fall in love. Hmm. Y'all just decided this is going to be... <laughs> The morning that Nothing. I'm, I'm not sure. Be. I'm not sure if these were geared for our listener or Davina's just really know, curious. I think about Davina's you. like, let yeah. me just. And, she, and she's thinking, please let, please let it, let it be today. Please let it be today. <laughs> she <laughs> followed I, me back on social media. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's not the first time she's fallen in love. It wasn't when she followed you back on social media. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, the, the two don't go hand yeah, in hand. No. First time I fell in love, I think I was. I think I was in high school. I was finishing high school. It must have been because it was this crazy obsessive feeling for this person that followed for the next two, three years. So I think that's what it was. I can't quite recall that feeling, but I know that I thought about this person every day and looked for them and wanted to be with them. So I'd say high school. And swiftly followed my, by my first fail. I've failed a fair bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I fail forward. This is the difference. I hey, had that's to learn. A, that's a great, uh, a great I, look at it, failing forward. I, I like ha- that. I had to, that's just how you, this is self-care and, and being kind to yourself and, appreciating that your mental health can be affected by how you see it. So if you're like, I failed, I failed, mm-hmm. then so nights fail forward. Um, the first time I felt like I failed again a bit was high school. I feel like I failed in, this is going to sound so trivial, my God, when I think of little things, trying to put together the school dance because I was like the deputy head girl, house captain, I was like a sheriff with all these badges. That did feel like a fail because everything was on me. And I remember that distinct feeling of, oh my God, I failed. All eyes were on me. Yeah. Even moving to reports on TV that I feel the audience didn't understand. My bosses were questioning. That felt like a fail. So there's been nuggets of feeling like a failure. <laughs> I just try to be like fail forward and just try not to, you know, repeat certain things. Learn from them. And, and as you've gone into this phase of self-actualization, as you put it, uh, when, when we started the conversation, um, does failing to you, because as, as I've gotten uh, older mm-hmm. and and a little bit more mature in the think, my thinking, when I fail now, it, it doesn't it doesn't hit like it used to. Right. Because I've realized that, I mean, this is not the last time it's going to happen. You know exactly. what I mean? And there are going to be bigger, more monumental failures than this one. You know what 100%. I mean? hundred percent. I think you've literally say what I would. It's that it just, I feel like it's preparing me for the next stage. Because I wouldn't have seen myself here a few years ago. 
But I think sticking to my gut, even though I felt like I was failing navigating this journey, um, I was like, okay, you know, you stuck to your gut. It didn't always work out, but now you are essentially doing the things you love. Every day I wake up doing what I love. So That's incredible. 